What is the service value chain in ITIL 4? And how important is it? I'm Chris Ward, an edutainer and trainer here at IT Pro TV. And let's take a quick look at the service value chain. If you've been around ITIL for any long period of time, at least maybe one or two versions prior to ITIL 4, this looks very similar to the ITIL version 3 lifecycle. And we start off on our left-hand side, looking at the demand that comes from our organization. And typically that begins what is known as a value stream. Value streams are built within the service value chain. And most likely that's gonna start off by going through the engage activity. We work through engaging with our suppliers and our stakeholders. And then at the very top of our service value chain, we plan on how we are going to meet that demand how we are going to enable value co-creation. We also design our new services, which leads us to obtain and build components for our services. And then we transition them into the live environment where we deliver and support them on a daily basis. Business as usual is what we might say. And of course, these are the products and services. And the key to all of this is going to be value co-creation on the right hand side. Notice I didn't mention the one thing that is underpinning absolutely everything. That is the improve activity. We would always want to continually improve absolutely everything we do within our organization. Now, a great way to remember these six key activities that build value streams is PIDOD, P-I-E-D-O-D, which is short for plan, improve, engage, design, transition, obtain, build, deliver, and support. There you have it. Another quick bite here at IT Pro TV. Join me for others about ITIL, Prince2, PMP, and more. And you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find out more on how you can get amazing training on anything IT by visiting us at www.itpro.tv. I'm Chris Ward. Thanks for joining us.